It is official. Psycho Susie Jones is back. What is she doing? She's already being a psycho. That's right. She got kicked out of boarding school because she is so crazy. They couldn't handle her anymore. So she is back in the household. So one of the cool things about The Sims 3 is that we have cars. And with cars, we can also do driving lessons for teens. Uh, for some reason, Angel Lee Jones, she literally has two cars in her backpack. I don't know how she fit them in her backpack, but there we go. Anyway, oh my God, she's got a daycare van. How did I not notice that? <laughs> she must have been given it when she had a daycare job. So anyway, Psycho Susie Jones is going to be asking Teresa Slay Jones to help her with driving lessons. You are in big trouble, lady. You best not do that again. Maybe you should help around the house to get on my good side. What on earth did Psycho Susie do? What did she do? I'm sorry. I don't know what I did. Maybe we should ask grandma, Granny Shani Jones. Will you help us drive, Granny? Somebody's got to bloody do it. Well, thank God Granny is helping us. There we go. Although she's making making her way there very, very slowly to the car. She literally looks traumatized. She's like, oh my God, I don't want to do this. Satch, don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. And I love how they're going in the day <laughs> vehicle. I love how they've both just got a completely straight face. Like they didn't bother to animate anything in. They didn't bother to animate any talking animations or anything. I mean, at least we've got cars at the very least. At least the car is moving. What more can you ask for? Although she seems to be driving very, very well so far. She isn't like stalling or anything. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not just gonna blindly say, oh my god, I love The Sims 3. It's so much better than The Sims 4. Like, I'm not gonna lie. They didn't really put much effort into the learning how to drive thing. Do you know what I mean? Like, they could have made the car stall a few times just to be a bit funny. But there we go. Granny Shani Jones is teaching us how to drive. Congratulations, Psycho Susie has improved her driving skill to level two. So we've only been driving for like a couple of hours. There's only a total of three levels. Granted, I am speeding through it a little bit but it seems very quick and easy. Oh my God, what just happened? I think there was a glitch. Okay, Psycho Susie has improved her driving level to three. So she now has her certificate and she can drive by herself. But how's Granny Shani Jones over here? But Psycho Susie's over here. <laughs> and now where is Psycho Susie going? She's got an action cued, learn to drive with Granny Shani, but she's already done it. And now she's just running rapidly. I don't know what on earth happened there. Oh my God, guys, I've just noticed a floating stereo. Can you see that? Why on earth is there a floating? stereo in my house. I swear to you, I did not put that in there. Do you think it's just like a mistake when the Sims team built this house, they just accidentally left a floating stereo? I mean, for this entire Let's Play, my Sims have been constantly dancing and I haven't known why. Maybe this is the reason why. So apparently the Sims 3 Generations is kind of like the Sims for Parenthood in that you can do parenting things. So we can encourage Psycho Susie to improve her skills. Will she actually improve them though? That's anybody's guess. Angel Lee Jones is like, I'm back bitches and I'm in a swimsuit and I'm ready to go. Yes, I have fake tanned with extra dark St. Moritz and I am ready to punish Psycho Susie, my psychopathic child. And now we've said that she's actually gone to discover a potion. So it seems that she's autonomously gone to improve her skills when you ask as a parent for them to do that, which I think is pretty cool. By the way, when Psycho Susie was at private school, she did learn some random skills. She wasn't there very long, but at least she learned some skills. She's also in trouble because she set a boot be trap. Funnily enough, we can actually let her off the hook, which stops her from being in trouble anymore, which I think is really interesting. And there we go, the mootlet is gone. One very interesting and random thing about this pack is that sometimes your parents will be offered to go on vacation in which the teens are alone with the children and the teens can actually throw a secret house party. But it's totally random and I've tried really hard to Google if there's cheats to get it done and unfortunately you can't do it. So we actually just have to wait until maybe it happens. Until then, Psycho Susie is viewing the plant. That's literally all she's doing. She's just viewing this pot of plant because she's crazy. As you can see, we have lots of different after school clubs, by the way, more so than the Sims for high school years, I believe. I have no idea what shop club is. Is that like when you're seven years old and you play shops with your friends? <laughs> Another thing as well about prom is it's actually not guaranteed to happen. In the Sims for high school years, there's literally a prom every single week, which is so overwhelming. It's insane. In the Sims 3 generations, it's a little little bit better. Every single week there's a chance that the prom may happen, but it's not guaranteed. And if it does happen, there is a two week cool down to prevent it from happening again. I kind of wish you could just plan when the prom happens so you could control it yourself.
south, which is annoying, I'm not gonna lie, but there we go. So we're basically just gonna have to wait until the prom actually, oh my God, Granny Shani. She, oh my God, she is obsessed with this water slide. Every single time I look at her, she's on this water slide. I don't know what's in the coding for this game, but Granny Shani is at her traits. I don't know what it is, but all she does is, <laughs> She does this cripple walk all the way around the water slide and then she'll just slide through it as if she's got no issues with her achy bones. <laughs> what an absolute icon. There is nothing Granny Shani Jones cannot do. Oh, here we go. A formal dance is happening soon. It's gonna be on Wednesday at 6 p.m. And we've got to find a date. By the way, if you would like an update on Teresa Slay Jones and Tallulah Mae Jones, after they broke up and divorced, they are now getting back together. Anyway, Psycho Susie has been exercising in her prom dress for literally hours. Her fitness skill is level six because she literally will not stop. Oh my God, she's literally crazy. Stop please, Psycho Susie Jones. Get off there in your bloody prom dress. Thank you. So, oh my God, look at Granny Shani Jones. She's still there, oh my God. <laughs> So Psycho Susie Jones currently does not have a date. Now, as you can see, she's very upset. Oh my God, the way her head moved then was literally traumatizing. Oh my God, that's literally crazy. What's going on with her head? It's literally glitching in the most horrifying of ways. <laughs> so Psycho Susie's friend Candy Ashdale has come over and that's because she actually wants to be more than friends. Psycho Susie would like to take Candy on a date to the prom. So that's what they're gonna be doing. But first Psycho Susie has to woo her and win her over, which she's probably not very good at doing. As you can see, see she is giving a rather crazy chat and she's going really crazy and weird and Candy's like oh my god stop you absolute creep. Let us hope we can apologize and do a smooth recovery. I feel like Candy and Psycho Susie are literally the least likely match in the entire world. Start snubbing Candy. What does snubbing mean? According to Google it means completely ignoring the other sim. And there we go you could do that if you really wanted to. I won't though because I really want to get romantic with Candy so we are going going to compliment her personality and compliment her appearance and then we are going to give her some flowers and do we have purple flowers yes we do because psycho susie is an emo will she accept the flowers she's smelling them yes she likes them oh my god they're being amorous literally incredible oh apparently they're on a date i didn't realize they were on a date <laughs> We should probably ask her if she's single. I didn't bother to check. Oh, yes, yeah, she is. Thank God. I love how it says Candy thinks Psycho Susie's being flirty. In what world? The Sims 3 world. That's rot. Uh, but now we can actually ask her to prom, which I'm going to do because clearly she really likes me and we're being flirty. Are you pranking me? I'm so happy you asked me. I'll go with you for sure. Be prepared to have an awesome pose for our prom picture. Well, there we go. We officially have a date to the prom. And oh my God, we can do first kiss already. Oh my God, let's go. Are uh, you ready? Candy is like, oh my God, stop, you psychopath. Well, there we go. We have had our first kiss. Propose going steady. Oh my God, that is so 2000s going steady. <laughs> I wonder if teens can woohoo in The Sims 3. Can they woohoo? I do not think they can woohoo, which is a shame. Oh my God, my game is freezing. Oh my God, please do not crash. Oh my God, we need to just save this bitch right now. Oh my God, we're gonna crash. Oh my God, don't say we've crashed. Oh. <laughs> I'm praying the saving works because sometimes it does not work and the game will just completely close itself for no reason. Oh my God, how honestly, saving the game in The Sims 3 is so intense because you're literally saving so much information and sometimes it just can't handle it and it kabooms. Guys, I'm not being funny, but I've literally just been scrolling through TikTok on my phone for about 10 minutes. All right, 10 minutes is a bit dramatic, but like a solid three minutes. Oh my God, we're finally back. Oh my God, that was so tense. I think I'm gonna throw up. Anyway, Candy has gone home and that was a wonderful date apparently. I don't know what on earth she sees in Psycho Susie. <laughs> but there we go. If you like an update on Granny Shani, that's right, she's still on the water slide because she's crazy. Fishfinger Jones has been standing here the entirety of episode three and I do not think he has moved. Krusty Karen Jones has also been standing right here and. Teresa Slate and Tallulah May are getting really flirty in the garden next to this stinky plate. A spoiled forever wedding cake. Well, clearly it was not forever. Foul quality. Well, if that is not a symbolization of a real life wedding and real life marriage, then what is it? Free vacation. Oh my God, we got it. Angel Lee Jones and all the adults just won the sweepstakes and have been awarded a free vacation for two days. Oh my God, except yes, please. Oh my shit Lord. All of the adults are gone on holiday. That's literally hilarious. All of the teens, everybody is at school right now. Nobody is at home. Oh my God, that is literally hilarious. So now the entire household is on holiday. We can actually throw a secret teen
mean party against the parents' will, and they're not going to know about it. Although I am concerned because my game is being very weird and glitchy. Oh my god, we're freezing. Oh my god, we're freezing. Are we going to be able to complete this let's play? Are we going to be able to complete the let's play? I bloody hope so. <laughs> oh my god, we've got to save right now. So now the parents are out, we can actually throw a special kind of party. It is called a teen party, and we're inviting all these random teens who I do not actually know, including Candy, by the way. Oh, we need a dress code. Casual, formal, or swimwear. Imagine wearing formal wear to a teen party. Shall we make it a swimwear party? Even though we do not have a pool. We should probably get a pool. Whoopsie daisy. The wedding was the last episode. Link in the bio. So we can get rid of all of the wedding stuff. And that's right, in The Sims 3, we can have curved pools. So we will have a curved pool. The first guest has arrived. Oh my God, the guests are arriving at the party. I have no idea who these people are. And they're all just at my party. Oh my God, Candy's here in her swimsuit and she looks so hot. Oh my God, hello, Candy. You are uh, you are getting a kiss from me. River McIrish is watching like an absolute perv. I don't know why she is watching. Everybody is having a little dance together around the pool. Oh my God, River McIrish, you are shaking your shit. Oh my God, you are so cool. I wish I could be like you, River McIrish. Now, apparently there is actually a chance that your parents can come home during the party. I don't know if that's gonna happen or if it's just a slight chance. Either way, all of these teens are dancing and having a whale of a time. I don't even know who these people are and they're just randomly dancing in my house crazily. Psycho Susie Jones has gone to bed to read a book. She's like, I'm out of here. I do not want this party going on in my house anymore. She's just ignoring it. She's reading a book about farming of all things. <laughs> oh look, Fish Finger Jones is still here. He's standing in the hallway. Where's Crossy Karen? He is standing there too doing absolutely nothing. Whilst all these teens in the back garden having a party. Oh, there we go. Fish Finger Jones is actually doing something with his life now. He's playing on the little rocky thingy. Psycho Susie Jones is hiding upstairs drinking water from a bar. She's ignoring the party. She is like, I am not made for this life. This is not for me. I don't know what on earth all these teens are doing. Oh my God, Ethan Bunch, why on earth are you just lying there? He's literally just lying on my floor sleeping. I mean, oh my God, and this person, Bebe Hart. Oh my God. Oh no, a neighbor with a watchful eyes called the police. Better break up the party or you'll be in trouble. Oh my God, no way. I didn't know that could happen. Well, everybody seems to be leaving already. So I'm not sure what's happening. Although Ethan Bunch is reading Murder in Pleasant View, a book on my bench of all things. Lisa Bunch, wherever she is, is talking with Cressy Karen Jones. Apparently the police are supposed to be coming over to my house. Although I haven't seen them. Oh my God, the police officer is here. Hello, sir. You are so sexy. Eugene Hunter. Oh my God, his name is Eugene. Hello, Eugene Hunter. I would like you to come to my party. Sir, you are on the wrong side of the road. My house is the, this way. Excuse me, sir. You are going to the wrong house. What on earth are you doing, sir? I don't know where on earth he is going. Is he giving up on his job? Oh my God, he's gone to, is he gone to play chess? He's not even doing his job. Although that doesn't matter because apparently the adults are returning early. Psycho Susie has one hour to make sure the house is clean. Is the house dirty? It doesn't look dirty. I'm saying that we've got a few plates everywhere and all these people are just eating cookies and crap in my garden and it's 6 a.m. Although, I mean, oh God, she slept on the floor now. She's literally passed out. So I guess we can't help it, but the parents are gonna come home and see what's happening. Are they gonna be annoyed? Are they even gonna notice? That's it. You are grounded, young lady. Don't even think about leaving this house. I'm gonna be grounded because the party. I love how Teresa Slay Jones grounded us when he is actually our sister's husband. Like he's not even our dad, but there we go. We're grounded apparently. I love how the police car is still here as well. Is that cop still on the bench? He is literally still on the bench playing chess. Anyway, oh my God, what is she doing? Is she sneaking out? Why is she sneaking to go to school? Grounded still means you can go to school, Psycho Susie Jones. That is literally hilarious. So when your Sims are grounded, if they go out, they have to sneak out. But clearly the Sims team didn't realize in the Sims 3 era that Sims still needed to go to school. Anyway, oh my God, look at Granny Shani Jones breaking it down. Oh my God, look at Granny Shani breaking it down. <laughs> Oh my God, she's literally so cool. Oh my God, you're so sexy, Granny Shani. Oh, Psycho Susie has a want to sneak out after curfew. In The Sims 4, curfews are weird because in order to have a curfew, you need the parenthood pack. But in order to sneak out, you need the high school years pack. But the sneaking out thing has got absolutely nothing to do with the curfew. It doesn't really make much sense, but there we go. Oh my God, that's it. You're grounded, young lady. Don't even think about leaving the house. And apparently, oh my God, our mother, Angel Lee Jones, is now scolding us. Apparently we broke our curfew 
curfew by going to school and we are grounded as our punishment, even though we were grounded before. Should we beg for forgiveness? Please, madam. Please, please, please. Oh my gosh, she said no. Nice try, buddy, but you're still in trouble. If we do chores, we can actually get on the good side of our mum and then beg for forgiveness then and she might unground us. Sims for could never. Oh my god, I love how this police car is still here. And it's funny because if I click go here to go off the lot, you can see she actually sneaks out because she's grounded and she shouldn't be going off the lot. I think it's literally hilarious and I do not think she has been caught even though she walked right past her mother. Oh my god, she's in a taxi. Where is she going? Where is she going? I didn't tell her to come here. She just dropped her homework. Oh my god, what is she doing? Is she glitching out? Where is she gone? She's just gone to the museum to do her homework for some reason. Well, at least she's, uh, do you know what I mean? She's been grounded and she's broken her groundedness but at least she's just gone to the museum to do her homework. Oh my god, on that note, Psycho Susie's curfew is in one hour. If she passes the curfew, she may get caught by the police. <laughs> if only the police had the budget and resources and time to do that in real life. Although I kind of want her to not come home, just so we can see what happens when she breaks the curfew. She's just gonna stand there, so it seems she's not getting caught out by the police. Probably because the policeman is playing chess in the park, and we are being scolded for breaking out our house again. Although every single punishment is just grounding us again and again and again again without really any consequences. Oh my god, she has a want to sneak out again. Honestly, she's obsessed. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I completely forgot when our prom was supposed to be. So we're just gonna have to wait and see if it happens. Oh, there we go, the dance at 6 p.m. Hurry up and get ready. Oh my god, we need to plan our outfit and it's 5 p.m. and we haven't planned it yet. Oh my god, Psycho Susie, please, please, please. Okay, oh my gosh, we need to pause and we need to find a wardrobe to plan our outfits. What a nightmare. Oh my god, Psycho Susie, what are you doing? Hurry up, there's always time to go. Psycho Susie, oh my god, she's animation glitching. Oh, Oh my god, stop animation glitching, Psycho Susie, please. You need to go to your prom. Although she's grounded, so I don't know how that's gonna work out. I mean, her formal outfit is already quite good. Maybe we can just give it a recolor. We could always put flames on the top half, and perhaps we could do some love hearts on the bottom half, and maybe the ribbon can be made from stone slabs, and the bottom half rubber ducks. I mean, I think that's a perfect prom outfit. She could not look any better. So, oh my god, she's in a formal wear, but she's in the wrong one. What on earth happens? Oh my god, the animation glitch, or do we make her wear her everyday wear? Okay, oh my god, it's six and she's not going to prom. Oh my god, we need to pause. Why won't she go to prom? Oh my god, what on earth is happening? Oh my god, we can't go to prom. Oh my god, is it glitch? That was like the whole thing we were leading up to in this fucking episode. Okay, go to prom, thank god. Right, come on, Psycho Susie, let's go. I don't think so, Missy, you're grounded. Oh my god, fuck you, mum. I'm sorry, but pause, 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 please. Right, where is the school? I am not missing prom. We are cheating our way into the school for prom. Teleport me here please. Thank the Lord. Right, go to prom please. Oh my God, what a nightmare. I can't believe we almost didn't have our prom because we were grounded. That's literally horrible. Okay, we're gonna get rid of that mootlet. Goodbye, goodbye. So now we are at her prom. Psycho Susie was tearing up the dance floor when they announced she was prom queen. Oh my God, as if she was a prom queen. <laughs> That's probably because we cheated her friends with every single person in the neighborhood so everybody likes her. Although it is a bit lame that it's just basically a rabbit hole experience and there's not actually a real prom going on. Oh, Candy revealed that she likes like Psycho Susie a lot. That's lovely. Psycho Susie and Candy were the dynamic duo of the dance. Candy has been getting Psycho Susie punched the entire night and making sure she's having a good time. What well, is that lovely? Candy is going to be the love of my life, I'm sure. Psycho Susie is really charming Candy and hasn't left her sight the entire time this evening. Well, apparently not because she's left alone. <laughs> well, I hope she had a wonderful time. There was not really much point planning a prom outfit because we literally didn't even get to see her in a prom. One of the biggest criticisms of The Sims 3 back in the day is that it was basically just rabbit hole experiences. And to that, I kind of agree. The prom was kind of lame. Oh my God, we're being scolded for going to our prom. Oh my God, our mum, Angel Lee Jones, what in the Jeremy Kyle is going on? You are such a cow, you're the worst mum in the world. And now she's making us do our homework. It's literally almost midnight and we're doing homework just after our prom because she's not the vibe. Anyway, we basically experienced almost every single thing with this pack. Am I saying it's the best pack in the world? I do think it was very, very much overrated. I do wish in the Sims 4 we had a generations pack. Obviously we're not getting one because we've had the parenthood pack and we've had the high school years pack and we've had kids bedroom stuff and topless stuff, all the separate packs. All those packs are basically the Sims 3 generations. So we're not going to get a generations pack unfortunately in the Sims 4. Some experiences in the Sims 3 were a lot better. In the Sims 4 I will say although there are a lot more experiences it seems like they're very spread apart and it's very confusing I think between 
parenthood and high school years, what belongs with what. In that sense, I will say it was executed extremely poorly in The Sims 4. And in The Sims 3, I genuinely don't feel like the features went far enough. But if I had to choose, I would say The Sims 3 Generations experience is a lot better than The Sims 4 high school years forward slash my wedding stories forward slash top the stuff forward slash kids room stuff forward slash whatever else packs that they spread it across with. Guys, if you love Sims 3 Let's Plays, I have a whole playlist of playing all the old Sims games. So make sure you check the one out here. And of course, see you in the next one.